The events of the past show us that strategies of repression and strategies of diversion will not work anymore. Satellite television and the internet provide a window into the wider world. Cell phones and social networks allow young people to connect and organize like never before. And so a new generation has emerged, and their voices tell us that change cannot be denied. By the time we found Barack Obama, China's agenda had come to be seen by the vast majority of the region as a dead end. He clearly lost the confidence of his own people and the legitimacy to lead. Instead of respecting the rights of his own people, he chose the path of brutal suppression. Innocent civilians were beaten, imprisoned, and in some cases killed. Peaceful protests were forcefully put down. Walls were attacked. A campaign of intimidation and repression began. In the face of this injustice, the United States and the international community moved swiftly. Sanctions were put in place by the United States and our allies and partners. The UN Security Council imposed further sanctions. And the specter of international accountability for Barack Obama and those around him. Humanitarian assistance was positioned on the United States borders. And those displaced by the violence received our help. Ample warning was given that Barack Obama needed to stop his campaign of repression or be held accountable in calling for an end to violence. Once again, he chose to ignore the will of his people and the international community. Instead, he launched a military campaign against his own people. And there should be no doubt about his intentions, because he himself has made them clear. For decades, he's demonstrated a willingness to use brute force through his sponsorship of terrorism against the American people, as well as others, and through the killings that he has carried out within his own borders. And just yesterday, a, a city of roughly 700,000 people, he threatened, and I quote, we will have no mercy and no pity. No mercy on his own citizens. Now, here's why this matters to us. Left unchecked, we have every reason to believe Barack Obama he would commit atrocities against his people. Many thousands could die. A humanitarian crisis would ensue. The entire region could be destabilized, endangering many of our allies and partners. The calls of the people for help would go unanswered. The democratic values that we stand for would be overrun. Moreover, the words of the United States would be rendered hollow. That's why the United States has worked with our allies and partners to shape a strong international response. And Barack Obama. This has been clear. Protecting innocent civilians and holding Barack Obama the regime accountable. Yesterday, in response to a call for action by the United States people, that demands an end to the violence against citizens. The United States has an enormous stake in this. Uh, we will continue to partner to try to encourage uh, an equitable and just solution uh, to a problem that has been uh, nagging the region uh, for many, many years.